welcome to the Institute. Wow. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For oh. over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Geeks, what is going on? Unite the Clans here, back in your life with another episode of Fallout 4. This is episode 21, and we're back here at my base at the Red Rocket gas station. Uh, I haven't shown you guys this on camera in a bit, so I thought I'd show off a little bit of my power armor. And we're back here for a big reason. In the last episode, I asked you to help me decide who to build the signal interceptor with, the device that will let us infiltrate the Institute and get back Sean. And uh, the feedback overall uh, led me to choose the railroad. We did the building of the signal interceptor on a live stream. And if y'all are watching this Let's Play and you don't watch me live stream on Twitch, you're fools because I'm playing lots and lots of Fallout 4 and you should check it out. There'll be a link somewhere in your description. And we have done all this with Kate at our side. No more. I love her. She is my favorite companion in the game. Sassy and interesting. But... We should go our separate ways. Okay, I'll head home for now. Watch yourself out there. You got it, girl. Oh, I can't send her to the Red Rockets truck stop? That's okay. Why don't you, Kate, head here to the Taffington Boathouse, which I believe is where we are also headed, guys. I've gotten to the point in the story where we are about to enter the Institute for the very first time, and as much as I love Kate, I don't think she's the person to take with us on that journey. I think we need to go back to our first companion. The first friend we made in this wasteland. Piper. Piper was our first friend. She helped us out in the early stages of making contact, uh, discovering what the Institute is all about. And uh, she introduced us Maybe to Nikki V, to who's gotten us, us as close to finding our way in as anybody. Miss Piper, it's been a while. It has been a long time since you and I traveled hey, together, Piper. girl, but... Heading my way? Heading my way. She has asked me that so many times, and I have said no. You sure you want to travel with me? Well, it's that, or get back to writing the paper. I guess the paper can wait. All right. You sure you want to travel with me? Well, it's that. Whoops. Okay. Sure. Let's go. Will do. Cool. Miss Piper is back with us, guys, and she is going to join us as we enter the Institute for the first time. I'm thinking I should bring power armor. I'm thinking I should. Yeah, let's at least grab... We'll grab a couple suits of power armor. Mm. Pipe, are you stuck? Are you stuck, girl? Come with me. <laughs> uh, we're going to grab a couple suits of power armor, and we're going to hit it. Uh, I'll take this one here. This is, I think, my most modern suit of power armor, or close to it, and I'll get Kate to jump in. And uh, Kate, Kate, man, I've been traveling with Kate too long. Get Pipes to jump in another suit up here. Um, but Geeks, why don't I get us all geared up, and I will meet you at the Signal Interceptor, which I have con constructed with the help of the railroad. We'll be right back in just a minute. All right, guys, welcome back. This is the signal interceptor, the teleportation device that will hopefully lead us inside the Mother Effin Institute. And these are our friends from the railroad, and this is the hideous amount of power generators I built. Uh, I wasn't worried so much about how this looks, more about how it works. Pipe and I brought our power armor, but I think that from what I've been led to believe by Desdemona here, the leader of the railroad, uh, this might not be super hostile. I think we're going in to meet a railroad contact, and the railroad are kind of like s spies. Their job is to get the Institute, uh, get synths safely out of the Institute, and that's Tinker Tom. He's their scientist. Hey there. He's yeah, funny, man. This dude's got flavor. And Des. What's going on, girl? Status report. We got activity, Des. Not sure how long before it peaks. The Institute is a huge unknown. Before we can make any plans, we need to do something. Oh, I had this conversation with her already. The most closely guarded secret the railroad has. It's time you learn about Patriot. Patriot? Let's tell Patriot. me all about it. There's a man, or woman, we're not sure, inside the Institute who helps since escape to freedom. Dozens of since owe him their lives. We don't know his name. We've never had a way to contact him. So we gave him the code name, Patriot. Sounds if intriguing. Your plan works, 
and you're able to get inside the institute we need you to make contact bs i have i have a son in here i can't risk that i need to find my son yeah. i'm confident you can find a way to do both i leave it to your discretion tom's encrypted a message for patriots eyes only once he sees it he'll contact you until you make contact and probably after you need to stay in their good graces you need to infiltrate them can you do that can you be our agent on the inside <sighs> bring it on you can do I this. guess we gotta do I this guys you. we gotta do this Stand on the these are our closest the friends holiday. in the game just plug it into any Institute terminal and wait for the reply Tom, okay talk to me. Yeah, I had this conversation already, guys. Ready when you are. Ready when you are. Okay, we're hopping on this thing, and we're entering the Institute. This is the mother effing moment of truth. I need to play that Fallout theme music. The oh. still yes, it is. I'm getting on. I'm getting on. I'm ready. So stand still. You gotta lock in all those molecules of yours. Hopefully we won't miss any. There's Beat me only, up. You know, 60 trillion of them. Oh lord. Right, feeding our baby some juice. Let's see what she's got. Oh, is Pipe's not even coming with me? You need to contact a patriot. <laughs> oh man, uh, don't worry. That, that's all part of the plan. Oh god. Do whatever you can to gain their trust. Lie. Tell them what they want to hear. Make up a cover story oh, god. and sell it. Come on, I think I got it. Establishing lock on the Institute signal. Just get all the information you can. About synths. About the Institute's plan. Okay, geez, Find stop yelling weaknesses. stuff at me. You should have told me this before I got on the platform. The Institute, we may have to do it. You jack that holotape into any terminal and Patriot will make contact. He has to. Got the aura! We got it! Okay, oh! Save them. Nobody else can. Okay, guys. Now, I'm sorry I didn't show you the building of the signal interceptor and the beginning of my friendship with the railroad, but I live-streamed that. Um, I thought it wouldn't make for great episodes, and it wouldn't have. It was a little long and a little boring. Uh, so I'm sorry if you're not totally up-to-date on who Tinker Tom and Desdemona are, but we have done it. We are currently inside the Institute, and Miss Piper, who I thought I would be bringing with me, is nowhere to be found. All we have to do is plug a hollow tape into any institute terminal. That's what I've been told. And we have entered. Use it. Use the damn computer terminal. Load hollow tape. What's it called? Which hollow tape? Okay, this clearly isn't it. It's not Dunwich, it's not Eddie Winter, it's not Battlefield, not Gwinnett. Join the railroad, Private Heart, Stockton. There. Wake up, Commonwealth. Since they're not your enemy, they are victims in this war as well. Huh. Did I do it? Upload encrypted message on any institute terminal. View access log. Huh. I don't know if I've done that right. Hello. Oh. Hello? I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. Oh my god. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Good lord. Please, step into the elevator. Where is my mini nuke? Oh my god. Enter the elevator and they're giving me a chance to just talk? Again? Where's the elevator? Where's this Institute elevator? Holy crap, this is some Star Trek shit. Here we go. Oh my gosh. This is a big moment in the game. I can only imagine what you've heard. What you think of us. 
I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. Wow. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For oh. over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, this is countless trippy. experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Oh, wow. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are unstable. I'm just going to be quiet, guys. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. That's right. And you sons of bitches took him. And there ain't nothing you can say that's gonna make me forget that. Yeah, you may be upholding science in a post-apocalyptic wasteland. You may be continuing experimentation and the expansion of human knowledge. But you're also kidnapping. My boy. That's not him, is it? Sean? He's a ginger. Kid sure as hell looks like me. Sean? 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 Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. <gasps> Sean? Oh my god. It's really you. Who are you? He is a lot older. Um, let's not hit him with this quite right Sean, away. Where is everyone? Father, what's going on? He knows. What's happening? Sean. Oh, okay. Are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Tell me. Father! Okay. Um. I do want to kill them. It'll be okay, Sean. I'm here I now. I don't know you. Go away. Father, oh. Father, help me. There's someone here. Help me. Father. He's talking. He's talking to the voice. Sean, please. Calm down. I'll get you out of there. Father? Father, help me. He's trying to take me. Father? Father, help me. You son of a bitch. Sean, S923, recall code Cirrus. Fascinating. Son of a bitch. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional. And that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Or are you a synth? I could kill you. Right here. Right. Now. Yes. Yes, you could. And I would be powerless to stop you. I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's Tell me. In the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that You're not my son, right? <laughs> situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far. And suffered a great deal to find your son. Well. Your tenacity and dedication have been re It's good to finally meet you. What? After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. I am your son. How? 
How Holy is that even crap. possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the sun. You'd lost. Yeah. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. Yes, that's what I thought. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now it's later. It wasn't. It, it wasn't right, what they did. Taking you from me like that. How to you, hollow that a feeling is this? True. To think that but we've been searching this whole game for a child who is now in the world. a grown At man time, standing in front of us. The year 2227. The Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The wow. human being, walking, walking talking, talking, fully, fully articulate, articulate, capable, capable of, of anything. anything. I think I see where this is going. Then so. perhaps you already understand why it was necessary for the Institute to acquire me. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, wow. radiation affected everyone. Even Except in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, vault dwellers. members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source I'm the backup. I am the then only the other person out here that wasn't born and raised in this wasteland. records from Vault 111. An infant, An infant frozen, frozen in, time. in time. Protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it so was, it was my, my DNA, DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Wow. In science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. And you... you've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes. Why wouldn't he come for me? I know you must have questions. Why? Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. I'm not sure I even believe you. Your mother. She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral. What the hell are you talking about? Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? I forget that it's been such a short time for you. I don't have any direct memories. And I've had my entire life to cope with a loss. Has it always been easy? Of course not. But I've done my best to move on and live my life. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation and that was that. was that. With old age comes regret. And asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. B.S. What else can I say to ease your mind? I think I've heard enough for now. Very well. The Institute is on the verge of some... Important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? 
Isn't that what you want? <sighs> Maybe. I... I don't know. I don't know either, guys. so much to take in. I know. And I am sorry. You have been through so much in such a short time. The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. Wow. I assure you that wow, you're wow, better wow. off with us. I don't know what to do. I realize that. It's why I'm trying to help you. I hope that you can see that rationally. The Institute is the only thing left in the world that is worth being part of. I'm not sure I about simply that. ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. You'll get that we chance, really kid. do have humanity's best interests at heart. Will you take that chance? I guess so. Um, guys, this is a big moment, and I'm sure if this is Sean, he's about to interrupt me, but uh, we are at the end of an episode. I'm going to say yes to this question. Coming in here, this is not what I expected, and I have uh, no idea. Are you following? I'm not sure what is going to happen after this massive, massive plot twist. This turns everything I've believed on its head. And we'll have to take this one step at a time going forward. Um, geeks, thank you so much for checking out this episode of Fallout 4. And we'll take the first of those one step at a time steps right now. This really is... All right. Thank you. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time. Get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And I... finally, Dr. Lee in Dr. advanced Lee. systems. They've all been notified of your Fallout arrival, 3? of course. Meet them. I think she's from the Rust we'll Bucket City. What comes next. Whatever it was called. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Fallout 4. I'm Unite the Clans. And I will see you all in the next episode. What is going on, Geeks? Unite the Clans here, back in your life with another episode. Hopefully another series of episodes of Don't Starve Shipwrecked. I have a character in mind. We are going to play with one we have yet to play with who is new to this expansion, as far as I know. Walani, the relaxed. Can someone bring me, like, some food? Love surfing, dries off quickly, and she is a pretty chill gal.